Hey guys, welcome to Excel for Noobs.com. This is just a quick Microsoft Excel 2013 tutorial. Um, what I'm going to cover in this quick lesson is circular reference when using formulas in Excel. Um, and basically, what a circular reference is, is whenever a cell or formula within a cell refers to the cell that it's inserted in. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, here, I'll just insert some values in cell B2 and cell B3. And then here in cell B4, I'm going to enter a formula equals B1 plus B2 plus, or I'm sorry, yeah, plus B3 plus, and then I'm going to type it in B4. But you can see that I'm, I've inserted this formula inside of cell B4. Therefore, we get this warning here um, that you know the calculation could be incorrect, incorrect because we're uh, referring to the cell that we've inserted the formula into, and that's a circular reference um, problem that we're running into. So here I can click OK. It's just going to give us a result of zero, which uh, really doesn't help us out. So this is an unintentional circular reference um, that's referring to the cell that you've inserted the formula into. Another um, way you could do this is by referring to a cell that refers to the cell that you've inserted the formula into. And I'll show you what I mean right here. Um, I'm going to click over to this sheet where I have an example. So here, um, let's just assume you know, we have a company and we pay our salaries. It's uh, our, the salaries for our employees are strictly commission based, and our salaries are a percentage of net sales. And in this case, 10% of net sales. So you can see we have revenues of uh, 1.5 million. Uh, we have our expenses of $600,000, excluding um, salaries. And um, then we have these two um, accounts right here salaries and net profit. The problem we're going to have here is that. Uh, we can't solve for net profit until we have the value for salaries. And we can't solve um, the value of salaries until we have net profit. They're both dependent on each other. Uh, so to solve for net profit, our formula would be equals revenues minus expenses. And then, of course, minus salaries, which is also an expense. Okay. So <clears throat> before we pay out our salaries... Um, it's $900,000, but now we have to insert our formula into cell B3 for salaries, and that's going to be equals to 0.1, which is 10% times net profit. And there we have our circular reference problem. So how do we solve this? I'm going to click OK, and then you can see these two are dependent on each other, and they have to be solved. Um, so what we do is we get a file, select Options, and you're going to see the Excel Options dialog box appears. Right over here, I want you to select the Formulas tab, and then in the Calculation Options area of this uh, tab, click on Enable Iterative Calculation. And then, typically I just hit 100. That's what I learned in my finance class anyway. That's what we always did. We just chose 100. Click OK. And what that just did was it ran through you know, uh, the, a number of iterations until, until salaries equaled 10% of net profit. So it kept running the calculation, the circular reference, until um, we reached a desirable goal. All right. So that was a quick video on how to solve formulas that have circular reference problems and also just a tutorial to help you understand circular reference. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out a bunch of our other videos. Also guys, uh, make sure that you um, interact with our videos by commenting, um, subscribing to our YouTube channel, sharing and rating. That's really what helps um, us rank within the Google al algorithm. Alright, so thanks for watching and have a good night.